June is Pride Month. It's a time for LGBTQ people to celebrate their identity, but some say their celebrations are being squashed by recent legislation in some states aimed at their community. News 10's Caitlin Hunt joins us in the studio with how this may affect people here. Patrice, Pride Month is a time for LGBTQ people to celebrate their identity, but legislation in our state and beyond has put limitations on what they can do and cannot do. A local state representative says he would see he could see LGBTQ legislation being introduced in the future. Meet Alora Labella, a local drag performer. She's been performing for two years and she loves every second of it. But she says stepping on stage is more than just a chance for her to perform. It's also a chance to inspire. It allows me to be able to also be a voice of like inspiration to others that cannot be able to like speak upon themselves or want to um, like be the inner person that they're hiding. But that's becoming harder for people like Labella to do. Across the country, various laws have been introduced targeting the LGBTQ community. In Indiana, laws have targeted transgender people in sports. And recently, a law banning certain kinds of medical care for trans youth was passed. Portions of that bill were blocked by a federal judge but more laws like it could be on the way. I spoke with Republican State Representative Bruce Borders. He says he could see a drag ban being introduced in Indiana, and it's something he would support. It's perversion, and it, it has no place uh, in, in front. It has no place anywhere, quite frankly, but it certainly doesn't have any place in, in being shared in front of children. LaBella says it's very likely that a drag ban could be passed in the state, and she says it's a shame that the LGBTQ community must still fight for their rights. But she's not letting the fear of a drag ban get the better of her. I'm going to enjoy my time. And if it happens, it happens. But hopefully it don't. And LaBella says if you want performers like her to stick around, consider coming to local shows and events. And you can also voice your concerns to your local legislators. We have a link to that contact information on our website, WTHITV.com. Patrice, back to you.